Starting a podcast in 2023, here's everything that you should know and if you should start that. So starting a podcast is something that I would honestly recommend everybody to try, not to get famous or anything like that. Think of this as a diary of content that you now have. So if you've ever thought about starting a podcast, here is everything that you should know. First, this is a diary first and foremost. Think about you and your spouse, you and your best friends, you and your parents sitting down and talking about life. But fast forward. 20 years and it would be a pretty awesome thing to go back and watch wouldn't it but this is a place where you can share passion of an aspect for for me i love football i love basketball i, I love sports in general here's an idea i would have a blast sitting with three friends talking about you know take different lineups in sports and debate who wins okay if we took lebron james and we took calvin johnson and threw up a jump ball who's gonna come down with it lebron or calvin all right you, you see what i'm talking about finding something that you're passionate about movies tv shows woodworking it, it, it doesn't matter there will be an audience that will be interesting as well and if you're looking to grow a business it can also be a really cool tool to use cost okay what will it cost you to start a podcast if you're wanting to start one you have two options build your own setup or go somewhere you definitely have pros and cons to either or the the pro of going somewhere is that you can save money and you can outsource it all so that could cost you about 150 an hour for the studio time plus your editing unless you come to my studio of which you can do 150 an hour to shoot and edit that's that's my little plug but you can also take it and invest into your own equipment which honestly isn't going to be that crazy you can find a spare room in your house and get to work so it's going to cost you first and foremost about 250 dollars to get a good mic so this one right here this is a sure mic i also use zoom mics both of those are really really awesome options if you want to go with just the dual road wireless go mics you can get those as well and you can find those for this amount right here and from there you can kind of decide your setup now lighting lighting could range anything from $50 ring lights to around $300 and you have your camera now you can start with an iPhone especially if you have a really nice lighting setup it's gonna be a lot better looking but if you have a camera I mean for me personally my camera setups are like three thousand dollars you can get started with something like this this is a lumix camera for about a thousand dollars it does awesome quality it's 4k shooting and not only that but it will record over the 30 minute timer that most dslr cameras have so like my nice three thousand dollar camera well it stops every 30 minutes and i have to go back and make sure it's still going so let's say you do not have any equipment but really want to start that's perfectly fine let's see what happens what i would do is find a good room with natural lighting you could set up an iphone and then just take the audio and run it through adobe podcaster to fix that audio next the the editing editing is going to be tough especially if you've never edited before honestly a lot of our business comes from remote editing to where people will shoot stuff and then send it to us and then we just edit it all but unless you want someone like us to do it you have a couple different options the the first way to do it is if you have a mac i would always recommend you could be using imovie or final cut it's a great starter it would take you about 30 minutes to learn it then all you have to focus on is just linking that audio to your video and it, you kind of get used to it it just takes a few tries so a more advanced software is premiere and that's what i use that's what is editing this video right now it has more abilities like color correcting you can add in more graphics you can sync the audio reach and growth so is this something that you want to do for fun or do you want to be the next joe rogan if it's just something for fun firstly props to you because that's the way you need to think about it you have to be perfectly fine of never making a dime off of this and you do it because you love it how would you want to grow well, first and foremost is gonna be short form content. You need to create a separate social media page 
and you're going to go back to your podcast and begin to chop up clips that you can create and turn them into reels, TikToks, YouTube shorts out of it. And that is going to be the best way that you're going to grow your podcast. Right now I'm averaging like 150 views a video, but I've already gotten 60,000 views because I'm posting short form. 80% of my views come from short form and they funnel it to my actual channel. The next thing is thumbnails. You're going to want to use Canva or Photoshop to build out your thumbnails. If you want to grow, it takes effort strategy. Do I make money from this video? No. Is it worth my time right now? Absolutely not. Could I be doing other things that can generate immediate cash flow? Yes, but this is a long-term play. I'm, I'm going to use my friend Brody as an example. I was on his podcast not too long ago. He has a podcast called Profession Session. And in this podcast, he basically interviews professionals kind of in the industries and learns about them. Now, does he make a lot of money from it? Absolutely not. But what it does is it gets him into the door with a lot of people. The way he makes the money is the connections that it brings, as well as somebody who maybe wants to do business with Brody Vincent. And if they want to work with him, they want to know what his character is. It's not worth Brody's time, but it is. So the power of a podcast in a business sense, because it's going to give you credibility and the big one, which is huge, which I love, is that if you have somebody that you're trying to build a relationship with, inviting them onto a podcast is an awesome way to do it. When you're able to go to somebody and say, hey, I feel like you have a lot of knowledge and information. Would you mind guest appearing on my podcast to tell your story and tell more about yourself? Oftentimes it's gonna be yes. And from there you can build that relationship so if you got value out of this video please like and subscribe all the equipment that i personally use as well as what i use for my clients is linked below and follow for more